everyone. Hope you are well. My name is Brandon Tilly. It's recording a video today to take you through how to record the receipt of the cash flow boost as a result of lodging your IAS or BAS. These are my details here. Um, probably the best way to go about it if you've got any questions at the completion of this video is to shoot me an email. Um, we can organise a time to have a call following that. So a quick agenda today. I'm going to create a new revenue account by the chart of accounts. I'm going to go over and touch on the GST free element um, and how to make those settings so they uh, stay on the account going forward. And finally, we're going to touch off with bank reconciliation, relevant references in creating a bill or an invoice. Uh, now, we're going to do that both for the March 20 BAS and then how you would report it on your IASs if you lodge them monthly. So if we jump into zero, the first thing we're going to do is create a new revenue account by a chart of accounts. So we're going to create an account which looks quite similar to this other revenue for the JobKeeper. So the account type is revenue. We're going to make the code 280, just keeps it in line. We call it other revenue, B-A-Y-G, cash. Low boost, nah, nah. so that none nah, nah, on the end is not assessable, not exempt income. We're going to make the GST settings GST free income. So the reason it is both not assessable, not exempt, and GST free um, is this is a stimulus payment which is not taxable at the end of the year when you're reporting your profits, um, and it is GST free, so you don't have to pay GST on it. Essentially what they're doing is giving this money with no obligations to pay any taxes on that. So I'm gonna save that there. So that is how to create the chart of account. Now what we're gonna go through is the two different ways to receive the cash flow boost. The first one will be on your March 20 BAS, um, and I'm gonna treat that scenario as if you are lodging your PRYG quarterly. And the other one is on IAS statements if you're lodging your PAYG monthly. So the first one we're going to tackle is the BAS. I'm going to come here and go to activity statements. I'm just going to bring up the activity statement we have lodged for March. So you can see here we've got PAYG withheld of 7,850. We've got some GST on sales and some GST on purchases. Now at the time I created a bill. I lodged this, I created a bill to pay. Um, now the bill to pay was for the full amount of 9,293, which matches that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to edit the bill. Um, now we're going to add a new line in here and we're going to call it March 20 Bass, PLYG, cash flow, booze, government stimulus. Now, if we're lodging our PAYG withholdings quarterly, on the March 20 BAS, we're going to get a refund or a cash flow boost equal to the PAYG withholdings that we're lodging. So you can see here we're lodging PAYG withholdings of 7,850. So essentially, we're going to do the opposite of that to, negative for that, to net that to zero um, for the period. And we're going to add that to the account we've just created. So you can see here the actual effect of that brings down the amount payable by 7,850. So I'm just going to go here and change the total and update that. So that's what the bill for the March 20 bass will look like if you're lodging on a quarterly basis. I'm just going to go to the dashboard and we're just going to reconcile that. I've got a payment in here that wants to be matched off. There we go. Done. So that's how you're going to deal with it on a quarterly basis. Now I'm going to create a, I'm going to show you what we're going to do here. So we're going to go bills. So this is if we're lodging a monthly IAS. Um, so let's say we've lodged our, on the 20th of the 5th, we lodged our April IAS. Which was due on the 21st of the 5th. Um, so PYG withholdings. I'm just going to go April IAS. 
and we're going to say that was 2500 um, Obviously, that gets allocated to the POYG withholding table. Now, we want to pick up the other side of this, which is the cash flow boost from the ATO. So we're going to put in April IAS and cash flow boost, jump stimulus. Now, this is going to be equal. Um, it's going to be equal to the POYG withholdings we're lodging. But essentially, we're doing this to ensure that we are reducing the POYG holdings with payable. Um, and then this one just gets allocated to the other revenue account. I'm just going to approve that. And because there's no amount payable, rather than going to a waiting for payment, it just goes to pay straight away. Um, so hopefully this sort of provides a bit of clarity around um, reporting the cash flow boost. Again, as I said, if you have any questions following that, um, feel free to get in touch via email and we'll see if we can resolve them for you. Thanks for watching.